Hello, welcome to Care Adventures. Adventures. I'm Meg. Uh, and I'm Jonathan. And this is Kegogi. I'm Kegogi. And we've been on the road for nine months, so we thought it was about time to show you around Milton our RV. So this is Milton, our trusty RV. Uh, it's a 21 foot. It's the smallest RV we could we could basically buy, which is what we wanted. We wanted to be a little bit a little bit stealth, um, you know, nothing too too grand. Uh, it's a peak Kodiak. Uh, 2001, uh, for those that care, it's on a Ford E350 chassis. Um, basically, they only really made a few of these um, between sort of 2000 and 2003. Um, we'd like to hope it was so good uh, they didn't really want to you know, make any more because it was perfect. But you know, it's it's quite unique. A um, couple of things to sort of note on the outside. We have our logo here. So thanks to the guys at Adventure Vinyl. Go and check them out. Um, we have a propane tank here, which as the latest RV mechanic we saw, Connor Jones, he said it's the smallest propane tank he's ever seen. So it's a little bit niche. Um, one of the things that is sort of a bit quirky, missing from the side, you don't actually have a, a water inlet on this side, it's on the other side. Um, we have a, a main sort of water hookup. So it just is a bit of a fiddle when it comes to uh, RV parks or camping or when we're dumping the tanks, because most water and that tend to be on this side. A bit of a kerfuffle, but so be it. But the main thing, come with me, that we've done is on the outside. So we've put in, we've got installed a brand new uh, external propane tank. Because that was so small, and we just think in Central and South America, it's going to be a bit fiddly to try and fill that little tank out there. So what we've got here is this tank that we can obviously just unclip, and therefore we can just swap it out when we get to Central South America if need be. It means that we've got always going to have a decent supply for our oven, for our fridge, for the kind of heating. Um, the other thing we did is we had a new ladder installed um, and we've got a bike rack that I'm going to put on so we can put our two bikes long ways up here, um, which is what we, we sort of had an external here which was a bit, a bit wobbly. So uh, yeah, we've this one. Right, so come round and we'll get Meg to show you the inside. Okay, so this is the inside of Milton. Um, if you look at our previous photos up here and down here, you can see previously he was a bit more of your grandma and grandpa's RV. We put some time into him, some paint into him, a little bit of reupholstering, if that's what you can call a staple gun. And he looks a bit different now. So we added mustard paint to the walls and white paint to the cabinets so that it didn't look so garishly RV. And the most important thing we did, we got rid of the floor. The carpet was skanky and terrible and Jonathan managed to find these um, wooden panels on sale so we put them in. Just took him a day. Very well done Jonathan. Um, the biggest question we get is how can you live in such a tiny space full time every day? The thing is We've been at, we're city dwellers, we've been in Shanghai, we were in London, we've lived in France, Moscow, you're used to small spaces, and at least this small space moves with you wherever you'd like it to go. The next question we get is, can you cook in an RV kitchen? How do you have room? And the fact of the matter is, I don't cook any differently here than I do cook at home. Uh, Jonathan never cooks, so it is all down to me. I enjoy cooking, and Jonathan thinks it's the worst thing that ever happened to him. So we have a three burner hob, which is absolutely filthy at the moment. A little bit embarrassing, but don't look. Next we have the oven. This we just keep in here. It goes over the sink to give us more cutting space. So you can just move it out of the way. And then I have more counter space. I cook full course meals with lots of random things because that's what I enjoy eating. Jonathan thinks it's unnecessary and creates a lot of cleaning. I think it's nice to have a meal just like you would at home. After that, we have our cabinet space. Jonathan likes things to be very neat, tidy, everything to have its own place. So rather than just having a bunch of a bunch of cupboard space, he has made partitions so that everything has its own space. Um, Placemats so we don't have to clean the table so much. Cups hang. Those are our canned goods up there. We are currently in Milton. We've taken a little break to prepare him for South America, so he's getting lots of things done and added. So right now we don't have very much food in him. Underneath there we have our pots and pans. The most important thing to remember if you're getting ready to start traveling is you don't need a lot. You need one good pot, one good pan, I have two of each because I'm special, and a really, really good knife. You don't need all that stuff you have in your home kitchen. You probably have 15 cutting boards and 12 pans. 
totally unnecessary. You need just what you need to make each meal. Next up is our RV bathroom. What can you say about an RV bathroom? It's small. It has a toilet. It has a shower. Um, our gray tank will last us about four showers, four and a half showers. We don't take long showers. We mostly go to Planet Fitness and use their showers. $10 a month. You can shower there as much as you want all over the nation. The next thing people worry about when they're moving in an RV is where they're going to put all their stuff. The fact of the matter is Milton is 21 feet long. He is the smallest RV you can possibly get. And we have more than enough storage space than we could ever use. These things are built for storage. They're built to maximize our space. We have a nearly full-size fridge, which is currently being cleaned out, as you can see. Also a very large freezer, which is never, ever full. Up here we have a whole cupboard just dedicated to coffee. What more do you need? After that we have our larder, which Jonathan rebuilt because it was just sort of empty stacks. So now we have extremely long drawers. This is where all our spices, sauces, pantry items go that didn't fit in the other place. Um, yep. Then we have my closet which I have too many clothes, to be honest. People worry that they're going to have to give up all their clothing. I still have too much clothing. I try to get rid of it, and it just keeps coming back. And John has closet space, which is all being washed right now. And then come on back. Okay, this is our main living space inside of Milton. It's about six feet long by about six feet wide. This is where all the work gets done. This is where the magic happens. So our dinette tables here have storage underneath both of them. And the bed actually folds down should we ever have visitors in Milton, which seems a bit odd. And we can make another bed out of it. Uh, we play cards here, we eat here, we do our editing, photos, sit around and blog here. Everything gets done here. After that, we built our new bed. Our old bed was a bit rubbish. It wasn't very comfortable. So one day in the middle of Texas in a Walmart parking lot, we binned it, took it out, and slept uncomfortably for about a week while Jonathan built a new bed. Okay, when it's getting to be about that time of night, we pull all the pillows off the bed, pull off the blanket, and then we pull out our slats, and the bed comes down like this. foam as well as a <laughs> mattress topper. It's a very, very comfortable bed. All of our duvet and everything and pillows go in the cupboard up there. So that's pretty much how we roll. We have our blinds and curtains that keep all the light out as well as curtains that go around the front so that there's no light in. It's pretty dark in here. There's some noise but you get used to it after a while. It's not any problem. But the last and the most important thing in the RV is power. So I'm going to give you back to Jonathan to talk about that. Okay, so as Meg mentioned, power is obviously a key thing. When you're living full time on the road, you know, nothing worse than not having enough power. You don't want to be staying at campsites, we want to be boondocking. So we want to basically have all of this, everything in here, basically at our fingertips and when and if we need it. So what we've got is we've got two solar panels on the roof that we've installed. And if you just come over here, we have our inverter. Uh, it's just underneath this seat here. So we have a, a Samlex 2000, so basically we have a 2000 watt uh, inverter. Now the reason we went for 2000, you can get a kind of 750, 1500, is really, we obviously want as much power as possibly can, but it, it's the microwave that basically eats all the power. We don't really use the microwave that much, but when the microwave's going, we've got a kettle going to boil some water, that's when it really sort of starts drawing the power. So that's why I went for 2000. So what this essentially means is that we can plug in our laptops, any TVs, anything that you can in a, in a normal house, we can plug into here. Now, thankfully we're in summer, we're gonna be in Central and South America, so it's gonna be hot. So touch wood, we haven't really ever run out of power. The solar power has been working perfectly. Um, which is always a good sign. So that's Milton. That's our RV. Thanks for stopping by. And check us out on hairventures.com for more videos. And follow us on Instagram at hairventures. We'll see you very, very soon. Bye-bye. Ciao. -bye.
three. Hello, welcome to the Adventures. Okay. I'm Meg. Uh, I'm Jonathan. And this is Kay Gurgi. Hello, Kay Gurgi. <laughs> Fucking hell, got two things to do. I thought you were counting to three. Yep. One, two, three. Hello, welcome to Hair Adventures. Adventures. I'm Meg. Uh, and I'm Jonathan. And this is Kay Gogi. I'm Kay Gogi. And we've been on the road for nine months, so we thought it was about time to show you around Milton RRV. Okay, so I'll show you around the outside. Get Meg to show you around the inside. Where are you going? For three. One, two, three. <laughs> Hello! Welcome to Hair Adventures. Adventures. I'm Meg. I'm Jonathan. And this is... <laughs> okay, so when we're pulling, when it's that time of night, we take off the pillows, take off the blanket, which we don't actually use as a blanket, it's just for looks. And then we have to pull out the slats, which is fine, and then we pull out the bed. Come on, <laughs> It's you. You have to pull out the bottom Get corner. Get that thing. Oh, it's stuck in the middle. Get that, get that, get that, get that, get it. No, no. I don't have anything to get it with. It's on the front seat. And that one up there. Above your head. Jesus. So when it's getting to be about that good time of night, first we pull off all the pillows. Then we pull off the blanket, which we don't use. Damn it. Damn it. Your hair is insane. 